missiles whether it's when they've been caused by this weather system here as it's moved southwards it's become quite a potent feature as you can see here on the radar pictures it's bringing some heavy rain with it but embedded in that heavy rain band are also some thunderstorms and on the edge the back edge of the rain we're starting to see some sleet and some snow in, in fact up on the peaks for instance this afternoon they had seven and a half centimeters or three inches of snow falling in just 20 minutes and all that lot is heading south eastward so for the southeastern parts of england this evening some severe weather on the way uh, some heavy rain also some snow mainly up over the higher ground there could be some local flooding and also some damaging winds with gusts of 70 miles an hour now the worst of that weather should gradually move away to the southeast during this evening and the early part of the night but for a time up in scotland some severe winter weather there as well as the showers gather together and with the strong winds those snow showers will bring some blizzards up in the mountains later this evening and into tonight the showers becoming more scattered across scotland and that really severe winter weather should be clearing away from southeastern parts of England. That'll be around about midnight. But then we've got more problems because clear skies will move in. The winds will fall light. Not only frost and ice for northern parts of the British Isles where there'll be some more wintry showers, but in this southeastern corner, I think temperatures could fall away to two or three degrees. So the chance of some frost on the ground there as well and also some icy surfaces. Now, tomorrow we'll start off bright and dry, particularly in the east. There'll be some showers mainly in the north and west. But then the shower's dying away in the west just before another batch of wind and rain pushes in later on in the day. We'll find that wet and windy weather moving up from the southwest during the afternoon across the west country, Wales into Northern Ireland, across the western side of England, and up on top of the high ground from North Wales northwards. It'll turn to sleet and to snow, and that's the way the temperatures are looking uh, for tomorrow. On Friday, that uh, cloudy weather, the rain, sleet and snow will gradually give way to brighter showery weather but more problems on the way from the weekend with this little area of low pressure.